And joining us on the program for more insights into the party primaries across the country is Professor Nick Kidoko, Head of Mass Communication Department, Christopher University, Moe, Ogun State. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Many aspirants are not happy about the outcome of the party primaries uh, in their states. Uh, do you think their displeasure is justified? And what does this say of the process? Yeah, I think the displeasure is justified because... Um, Democracy has been diminished so much by the ongoing primaries because of the crisis going on and the role that godfathers are playing. Even though we were given the impression that um, godfatherism was a thing of the past, but there is a new idea. The new idea is to claim that you are playing a stakeholder's politics where the godfather hides under the table and says that he is not deciding on his own. That is actually doing the bidding of party men. Take the legal step. But is, 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 is the party, is, is politics not also a game of influence? And can you take away influential people from the practice of politics, not only in Nigeria, but in any country? We have people who are very influential either for reason of how long they've been in politics or how much power they've wielded in influencing people to think along certain lines. Is there something essentially wrong in that? No, there is, there is um, a role for influential people in politics. But power belongs to the people. People hold the sovereign power. That's the ultimate in a democracy. But what we experience here in Nigeria is that individuals play the dominant role because either because they finance the politics or because they have all the connections or simply because they hold the power. That is why uh, Charles de Gaulle said, you know, in the past, that in order for the politician to become the master, he poses as a servant. It's just a case of some people wielding so much power but when they are accused of imposition or impunity or recklessness, they hide under the table that they are playing a stakeholder's role. The influence should actually be with the people. The important uh, equation we should be looking at is that the influential people must actually be part of the party people, the I party see, movement. I see your, what you're saying, but in, yes. in, if that were to be, to, to be the case, where does the problem get rectified from? Inside the party? Yes, from inside the party. That's why we hear about uh, internal democracy, which has not happened. How will, so that, how will that work? Yeah, how okay. can that be made to happen? Yeah. The one essential thing that can happen is that you lay a level playing field where you conduct free, fair, credible election. If you throw it open, like um, APC said, they are going to do direct primaries, for instance. If it were indeed direct primaries, where everybody will participate mm -hmm. on an even kill, that is, of course, a way of rectifying it. I wish we, then, had, so, I wish we had so much more time, but very yeah. quickly, in, what do you expect of the 2019 elections, given the way the party primaries have gone? Well, I, I think that the 2019 election is jeopardized already because this influence uh, peddling will continue to happen. And then the danger... Indeed, is that there may not be free, fair, credible election in 2019. That's my take. Thank you so much for, the, for your take. Thank you very much. On News Across Nigeria, Professor Nikidoko, Head of Mass Communications Department, Christopher University, Moe August.